The renewed interest in UFOs, government acknowledging spending time and money looking into them, it brings us back to one of the last times the U.S. government spent this kind of energy exploring the unknown. It was here in Colorado. Anusha Roy has the story. Inside Norland Library at CU Boulder is a rare collection. Materials that don't exist anywhere else in the world. And one that stands out to Heather Bowden, the head of Rare and Distinctive Collection. Pretty high up on the, the fascination list. Is the Condon Report, commissioned by the U.S. Air Force in 1966. For the purpose of providing uh, unbiased scientific research around uh, UFO sightings. This is a bizarre story. We're going to start with the government asking Edward Condon for help, a prominent theoretical physicist who taught at CU Boulder. He was known for his work in quantum mechanics, nuclear science, his work developing nuclear weapons, and then his paper on UFOs. And I haven't read the entire thousand pages. The library anticipates people will be more curious now that Congress is set to receive another report on this very topic. Really about defense. The government wants to know if other countries have abilities and technology the U.S. is not aware of, spotted by Air Force and Navy pilots, and it's willing to spend money to find out. Condon's report was commissioned for $300,000 53 years ago. In 2007, a group of senators secured $22 million for the military to study UFOs, according to national reports. And then last year, during the pandemic, the Senate Intelligence Committee told intelligence officials to produce the unclassified report due this month. A report that appears to mirror what Condon said. Found that there was no conclusive evidence or no conclusive connection between UFO sightings at that time and uh, uh, extraterrestrial life. But others say this is just camera anomalies, weather balloons, flares, things like that. But curiosity is still the same. For next, I'm Anusha Roy. The files are still locked away from the public because the plan is to open Norland Library to the public come fall.